actions of last night or my non-actions of last night because the van is a mess i didn't wash up after dinner i've got pistachio nut shells all over the place <laughs> it's a tip in here never mind i'll sort it out later i am gonna get up now and i'm gonna go to the gym for a quick workout and a shower I don't know where my gym bag is. <laughs> In the front, I think. This van needs to clean today, massively, not just to tidy up, a clean. Oh. It's my morning view, my front door. Gym session done. It was a pretty lazy one today, to be honest. I wasn't really feeling it, so I just did, well, the bare minimum, to be honest. But at least I went and did something. I, I am gonna head back home now and get this van cleaned up. Let's get this mess all cleaned up. Right, let's... I made far too much bolognese last night, so I'm gonna portion it up with a bigger spoon. Um, this is gonna go badly wrong. I'm gonna heat this little bit up and eat this now and then I can have the pan and wash the pan up and everything. Why didn't I put these pistachios in something last night? Chucked them on the side. I'm just gonna eat out of the pan. Save on washing up. I've already got enough washing up to do. Time to wash up. So to wash up, I only have um, cold water in this pan. So to wash up. Oh no. <laughs> got tomato sauce all over me. Um, yeah, to wash up, I just boil some water on the stove. Before I start this, I best just check my oh yeah, grey water. Should probably empty that. Don't want it overflowing. <sighs> I'm 
bit of water in. Nice and cold. Whilst I'm just finishing this washing up, let me tell you something incredibly exciting that I am doing how many days in like three days I am heading over to France in the van for a week with a friend and I am so excited for it a little bit nervous not gonna lie about taking the van over there but yeah super excited I am um, probably need to do a little bit of I, might, I think tomorrow I'm just gonna be my sort of like organizing day for for France what I need and stuff because I know like you need UK sticker things, don't you? And like a, you need like a pack because you need to have, when you're driving in Europe, you have to have, um, what is it that you have to have? Like a triangle and a, a high-vis jacket and stuff like that. So I need to get that all sorted. I'm so excited. It's a bloody long drive though. Are we going from Folkestone? Folkestone, is that how you say it? And that is a maybe six hour drive from me. So I'm gonna sort of do it in two days, I think. We go on Saturday or our um, train, Saturday, early morning, like five o'clock or something. So I think I'm gonna sort of go halfway Thursday. I don't really know, I haven't really thought about it yet, but I'm definitely not doing that all in one day because that's a killer. Well, I've got a lot of bolognese to eat over the next few days. It's time to do a little bit of, mm, I don't know what I'm going to do actually, some Pinterest stuff probably. I have a, um, a website if you don't know, Be Not Adventure and it's all travel and stuff and Although it's only October, I need to start doing Christmas, like promoting my last year's Christmas posts and maybe doing a few more Christmas posts. So I'm going to sit probably for a couple of hours and uh, do some work. I got really sidetracked away from the website. Oh, not sidetracked, just really involved with it. I've been trying to monetize a couple of posts that in fact actually if you do me a favor i think and if this is true i'm amazed i think i'm ranking number one on google i could this could be wrong let me know in the comments if you could please um google for me um how to get to tete de chen uh, which is t-e-t-e -E, then d-e-c-h-i-e-n Google that and see if my website comes up on, like for me it's coming up number one, but I don't know. If you could do that and then also how to drive the Monaco F1 track. I think they're ranking really, really well on Google. And so I need to get those posts, I've been wanting to get those posts monetized, so I've been doing some things and work on those posts. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you can do that for me, that would be wonderful. Uh, I'm going to relax a little bit now, just chill out in the van and maybe watch something I'm not sure in case you're wondering I've also just been editing the first little bit of this video and like I'm scrambling around all over the floor and things if you're wondering like yeah this is a small space that's ridiculous yeah it is a small space it is a bit ridiculous and I wish that I could stand up in it and I wish there was more space and but I also like having a small van so you can get to places um, you know, height barriers aren't a problem and things like that. I do want a bigger van in the future. But for now, I really love this van. It's just cosy and, yeah, I like it. Everything is a pain. Yeah, making up the bed. Like, would I love to have a bigger van with a set bed in the back that I didn't have to make up every night and stuff? Yes, I would. Um, but for now, this is, this is fine and I do love it. Future, yes, bigger van. But yeah, I'm gonna just relax now. 
watch something. I'm watching what I'm watching Bloodline on Netflix at the moment. It's pretty good if you haven't watched it. Um, relax, watch that, and I'll make some dinner in a little bit. I've got loads of bolognese. But I don't really want bolognese again. I think I might just have a bagel and like some mushed up like bean thing. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking right now. We'll see what happens. I might have to put the diesel heater on because it's getting a bit chilly. I was so scared of my diesel heater, by the way. Um, I don't know why I was scared. I needed some convincing off people to like, yeah, just put it on. It just scares me. I don't know. I don't know why. But I've put it on a few times now and it's like, actually, that's lovely and cosy and warm. So, don't quite need it yet. The day's turned a bit miserable, turned rainy and bleh. Uh, but I definitely will put it on for a little bit this evening before I go to bed. But yeah, relax time now. I'm gonna just, just watch some things or something. I don't know. Right, it's dinner time. I think I have decided I'm gonna have a bagel. I get these um Warburton's protein bagel because do you know what? It's absolutely freezing. Just realised. I'm going to put it diesel heat on for a little while. It's what time is it? Seven o'clock. It is cold. Let's stick it on. Come to this lovely little remote. Turn it on. Be boiling in no time. I'm trying to like get through my food before I go to France. I think I'm gonna tomorrow. I leave actually. I'm gonna start sort of heading down south tomorrow. So I've got a tin of black beans. So I'm just going to probably mash them up a bit and stick that on a bagel <laughs> for my dinner, I reckon. Oh, come on, heater. Warm up, warm up. It is freezing cold. Oh, I'm always so conscious of the fact that <laughs> my grey water, I feel just really scared that one day I'm going to not remember how much... Um, how much space I have for grey water and it's just going to all overflow. Can you hear that diesel heater kicking in now? It's going to be boiling in a minute. Can I have a cucumber? Brought down from trees after Hurricane Helene. Again, it was just terrible. Te Excuse the noise of the diesel heater. It's very, very loud. I'm going to make sure I wash up tonight. I didn't last night, as you saw. I have to clean it all up this morning. I don't need to bother. The nice thing about not eating meat is that your um, like your washing up isn't all like greasy and disgusting. So you don't necessarily really need like hot water and stuff. You can just quite often, I find anyway, rinse it under a bit of cold water. But it wasn't all good. No problem. Tonight I am gonna. Um, I'm going to just check on, oh it's getting really warm in here, <laughs> I'm going to just sort of figure out some bits and bobs that I need for going down to France I think, just double check, I've got a busy day tomorrow actually, of um, like last little bit, so I'm going to go and do some shopping for Stephen whilst I'm gone and pick up some bits that I need and pack, I, I don't know, I don't know. I am going to, I'm sitting watching some of this Florida stuff actually. Um, Hurricane Milton <clears throat> is is coming in. And I worked so hard to get myself out of that hole. And I think I've come a really long way. I think... I feel superior to, to me. I don't. Yes, you did a job. You've done it my whole life. I shouldn't take it personally. You've done it to me. You've done it to Meg. You did it to Danny. 